This last semester, we had the pleasure of working with Collins Aerospace in their Kill Kill Ireland facility, doing a trolley tracking project with them. I'll start off by saying my name is Nathan Leon, and I am from West Des Moines, Iowa. My name is Maeve McCloskey. I'm from Highlands Ranch, Colorado. Uh, my name is Jack Underwood, and I'm from Omaha, Nebraska. And I'm Grace Cooper, and I'm from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Collins Aerospace is a leader in the aerospace and defense industry. There are over 300 locations across the world where products from airplane interiors to military technology is created. This project was centered around one Collins facility in Kilkill, Northern Ireland, where interiors of airplanes are assembled. The facility uses a process using trolleys to transport parts through multiple buildings from part, part kitting to assembly. Typically, several hundred trolleys are processed at the same time, but due to COVID, that number has been reduced. The current issue is that during the process, kits can be lost, which causes lines to stop, leading to delays in production and stock loss. There are several objectives determined throughout the project, and these change through the course of the project. But the main objectives are to minimize the number of trolleys misplaced in the system, increase the overall system visibility, because of, as of right now, the system is very manual, enable uh, better tracking of critical production materials, as well as alerts for system issues, and provide real-time information on the entire trolley system. In order to do this, we had to do our current state, which was more of a system analysis, where we did a root cause analysis, as well as looked at the value stream map to determine where possible issues were at in the system. From this, we created our personas, which were determining what operators needed what information. And with this, we used that to create the dashboards that we have um, using that information and making it so that all the operators had all the information they needed. So here's a look at the root cause analysis. Um, so with this, you can see that the main issues that we determined were the ones that we wanted to tackle were communication and visibility. So personas, we're not able to share the exact uh, layouts of that, but um, we have set it up into tiers. So the tier one is more of the operator level, and they want to know basically just the location of the trolleys and whether the, all the stuff is there for the assembly line. Um, tier two, which is a little bit more management level, they want to know red tags and um, other information like that so they can try to resolve those issues. And then you have your highest level of management where they mostly just want to know the overall statistics of the facility. So an example of one of those dashboards can be seen here. This is for building eight. This is the facility where all of these trolleys are kitted, which the parts are put onto the carts uh, in order to start their trek through the buildings in order to get to production. So our red card number on the left, a red card, for those that don't know, it's just a part missing uh, for a production order. Uh, so those are bound to trolleys and then they follow through the system until the part is eventually replaced. So this just keeps track of your full, your in progress and your incomplete trolleys in kitting as well as the number of available spaces in the building. This dashboard deals with building four, which is our actual production facility where all of the lines are stocked with the full trolleys and then parts are then pulled from there to production. So we've broken it down into a stoplight system, green being good, yellow being there are some issues, and then red being that there are critical issues that need to be handled now with the RC still indicating red cards. Alongside the dashboards, we also created a reporting structure that'll give more a management level information uh, that touch their fingertips. So this keeps track of contract number, total number of trolleys in set order, uh, your average kidding time, your total number of trolleys in a mesh, uh, red cards created, as well as the same line health statistic that we had in the previous one. So as for the economic impact of this project, we project a 70% loss, decrease in stock loss, a 70% decrease in trolley misplacement, which equates to four hours time saved per week for the operator that has to go find the trolleys. And there are also improvement opportunities due to the data that will now be available, um, such as dwell time and system counts that can lead to decreases in WIP. And there are also uh, scalability opportunities to other facilities within Collins Aerospace. Thank you.